Capitol worker facing racist and drug allegations has now stepped down. Yeah, we're talking about House Speaker Glenn Cassidy's chief of staff, Cade Cothran. Just last night, he admitted to using cocaine three years ago in a legislative office building while asking for forgiveness. His, re his resignation coming this morning, but that is not stopping the push now for an official investigation into the matter. And a state capitol reporter, Chris Bungard, tells us it hasn't stopped the push now for his boss, Speaker Cassidy, to step down. Tennessee House Speaker Glenn Cassida told a Nashville radio station early this morning he has no intentions of resigning in the wake of a texting scandal involving his former top aide. During the radio interview, the speaker said he was embarrassed to learn he responded to his former top aide Cade Cawthron's text three years ago with a few lewd words of his own. This has been outrage. This comes this as members outrage. of the Tennessee um, Black Caucus and the, the Tennessee Democrat Party Kate chair exhibit. called for a Tennessee Bureau of Investigation probe into Cawthron's text, to which he admits sending some when he says he was a different person three years ago. Cade's explanation for his conduct is informative of why we fight so hard for equality and civil rights. The Black Caucus says the texts portray a racist and sexist picture of Tennessee's Capitol Hill that must be addressed. Speaker Cassida must act transparently and expeditiously in finding the truth regarding the veracity of these serious allegations. Nashville Democrat Vincent Dixie was the only caucus member calling now for Speaker Cassidy's resignation. The speaker says he welcomes a TBI investigation and would meet with the Black Caucus as he says he has done in the past. This, as the speaker said Tuesday morning, he still has the support of his Republican colleagues. Whether that party support maintains will be a lingering question for the speaker going forward. Reporting from the state capitol, Chris Bungard. Now, Governor Bill Lee responding to the allegations against Cothran, saying, when we chose to enter public service, we have an obligation to hold ourselves to a higher standard and cultivate an environment of professionalism and respect. And continued saying, we owe it to Tennesseans to ensure they know that all of us in elected office hold ourselves to that high standard. Recent revelations have shaken that faith, and we need to ensure that confidence is fully restored.